President Biden back in Washington late Sunday trying to walk back his ad-libbed remark a day earlier in Poland, where he appeared to call for regime change in Russia. Mr. President, were you calling for regime change? No. The provocative comment was off script and off message among the last words out of the president's mouth in a fiery speech that capped his European visit, focused on Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. For God's sake, this man cannot remain power. The White House quickly sought to clarify, as did the Secretary of State. We do not have a strategy of regime change in Russia or anywhere else for that matter. It's up to uh, the Russian people. Still, the off-the-cuff remark quickly ricocheted around the world, Putin's spokesman immediately firing back. That's not for Biden to decide. The president of Russia is elected by Russians, he said. The pushback among senior lawmakers here in the U.S. was equally swift, a top Republican slamming it as a horrendous gaffe in an otherwise good speech. My gosh, I wish they would keep him on script. This administration has done everything they can to stop escalating. There's not a whole lot more you can do to escalate than to call for regime change. It was the latest in a string of unscripted comments by President Biden that put him at odds with his administration's own messaging. Speaking to American troops, suggesting they could be headed to Ukraine, though the White House later reiterated the U.S. is not sending any troops there. And later, while visiting with Ukrainian refugees, offering this blunt assessment of Putin. He's a butcher. That led French President Emmanuel Macron to distance himself from President Biden's words, saying if we want to do this, we must not escalate, neither with words nor with actions.